So in the design criteria video, we identified two objectives that were very difficult to make quantitative. Those included easy to use and aesthetically appealing. So think about the kinds of questions you might ask to your client to try to get at what it means to be easy to use. So if you recall from the pairwise comparison chart video, we had a number of ideas related to ease of use. Those included easy to refill, easy to clean, and easy to drink from. You might have thought of some other ideas just now. All of these ideas are fairly qualitative, and they're based on individuals, feelings, and opinions. And opinions and feelings differ from person to person. What's easy to use for me may not be what's easy to use for you, and they may not be the same if we interviewed 10 potential users for our product. Because these types of objectives come up so frequently in engineering design, we've developed a formal way to deal with them. That's called user-defined scales. User-defined scales are set up by design teams to convert qualitative objectives into quantitative design criteria. So examples of these qualitative objectives include color, texture, smell, and appearance. So design teams convert these qualitative objectives into quantitative design criteria by setting a number of levels. These number of levels can range from 3 to 5 to 10. So for example, a scale might from run from 1 to 3, 1 to 5, or 1 to 10. So within each level on the scale, the design team needs to associate a specific attribute or characteristic. So one of these user-defined scales you might be familiar with is something called a Likert scale, where you have strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, and strongly disagree. The design team defines the values or range of values that must be selected in order for the product to be a success. So for example, with our Likert scale, users would need to select agree or strongly agree in order for the project to be considered a success. So this process of selecting a scale identifying levels with specific attributes or characteristics, and then setting the criterion that must be met. This is the process that engineers use to define a design criteria using a user-defined scale.